is not focused on the use of social media, on tips, uh, and that kind of things. Uh, Spanish police has a Twitter account which is followed by uh, 2.6 million people, which is the most uh, followed uh, account in the world, I think. <laughs> oh. Okay. about this. Uh, the approach of my presentation is focused on how we as a police force are uh, engaged and involved in research projects, in research work together with universities and uh, uh, companies. Uh, for this purpose let me firstly use a video it's a video we produced years ago just yes, to um, reach companies, um, research institutes, and universities in order to work together in researches concerning security issues. Valencia, historical, dynamic, open, avant-garde. Sorry. Valencia is not connected with okay, you gotta minimize the PowerPoint. What? Yeah, it's got running. I just like it. Just it shouldn't have to just minimize Good. Okay, sorry, but uh, we, we cannot watch the video, so yes, it is. Um, as I told you, uh, Spain has 46 million inhabitants. We have 2.6 million followers on Twitter for the Spanish uh, police, so we are really working on this topic. But again, uh, my, uh, my, my goal uh, within this uh, presentation is to focus on how we approach the research together with other entities, uh, different than police, uh, in order to improve our our knowledge, to uh, to work on capacity building for us, and to better um, direct our our work uh, with uh, with social media and with other new technologies and new challenges. <coughs> so, first of all, I want to just make a brief uh, introduction on how we see the, the, the research and the, and the need of innovation. Uh, as you all know, uh, the change is, is a challenge for all of, that, for all of us uh, because 
life is innovation. Actually, we are all a result of the uh, innovation we have suffered during thousands and thousands of years, uh, mutations that has made up of as we are nowadays. Everything that, every time that uh, big climate changes happen, become extinction, become uh, the elimination of uh, some uh, forms. Nowadays, we have a problem due to the human being performance in the world with a number of species which are becoming extinct. But if we go now to the human being society, we have also in a new era. And that's because new technologies, which entails opportunities for law enforcement, but also threats for society. There are flip sides in which criminals are working on research, working on innovation also, and are misusing technology for their own purposes. <coughs> There are new communication uh, channels, new communication structures uh, that criminals are using. New technologies they can use for their purposes, as you already know. New tools like uh, UAVs that can be used for drug trafficking, <coughs> violating privacy of people, attacking people, and so on and so on. There are also uh, elements, new elements that nowadays are really accessible to many people, more and more accessible to them, that are uh, a really potential danger for the society. The Internet of Things, we all have a comfort life, uh, many things are connected, so we are all happy with this, but we have to be aware that we have to secure all these technologies if we want to ensure uh, that uh, citizens and society is safe. The globalization brings also many challenges and many information is available nowadays. Years ago the police had a problem related to information. We had a lack of information. Nowadays we have different problems, we have a huge amount of available information and we have to be able to deal with it if we want to take advantage of this and use for our purposes. In my opinion, uh, the, raw material, the raw material for the police is just the information. That is what we need to work. We can't work without information, right? And things are changing. This is the graph in which you can see how available information on the internet is growing. We have to be ready to deal with that amount of information. Big companies in the world used to have large staff, thousands of people. So maybe we can agree that police forces are kind of big companies. We have thousands of people working in, uh, in, in, in police organizations. But do we know which is our business model? Any company of high size know perfectly which is its business model. If we ask to any uh, police officer which is the business model of the police, maybe he will tell you law enforcement, helping people. But business model is more than that. Business model is where are you adding value to your final customer, to your final client? In my opinion, our business model is focused on conflict prevention, conflict management. The value of our service for the citizenship is to tackle crime. If we don't tackle crime, we are arriving late for the citizen. And in case there is a conflict, we have to provide a solution or an answer to this conflict. We deal with conflicts. Think about it. Think about 
any performance that you do, and there, are, there is always a conflict behind that. <coughs> and where are conflicts? Conflicts come comes from come from human interactions. There are always human interactions in conflicts. As you can imagine, social media implies new performances uh, within um, human interaction. We are interacting now in a different way than years ago. So our business model is directly affected by this change. We have to be aware of that from a strategic point of view. News interactions mean new challenges for our work. But many places I have heard, and what? I don't care, I don't mind. Because I'm a police force. I don't care about that. We are outside the free market. We have no competitors. The thing is that if we don't work in innovation, if we don't work on uh, progressing in our work, others will do. Those guys will do in the new environment, in virtual environment. We are used to, we, we, we know how to act, how to perform in the real scenario, in the real environment. We are doing it for centuries. There's no problem about that. But there is a new environment, a new virtual environment where there are interactions, where there are conflicts. And we have to be prepared to provide solutions to the citizenship there. Also, the private companies provide solutions to the people if the police are not providing the right solutions or solving the problems. Even the people itself look for solutions if we don't do our work as expected. As a consequence, there are a number of examples of huge outsourcing of police work or private police forces in several countries already. So the thing is that, in my opinion, we have to change our approach. We have to change our skills, our attitude. We have to work on capacity building. We have to evolve from this perspective. Okay? We have to be able to work also in the virtual environment efficiently. And for that we need new skills and we need new attitudes also. So, this is the idea, innovate or die. If we don't be involved in innovation and research, we will not be ready for facing the new challenges of the virtual environment and social media. But what does drive to innovation? Looking for synergies, sharing knowledge, exchanging practices. That's why we have to look for. But we have a different tradition. At least in Europe, police forces has been always close to sharing information, to meeting with others, other entities, other organizations, companies, NGOs, community representatives, university. Police has been has followed always its own way. But now I think we have to think outside the box and share knowledge with the rest of entities of the society. In the past, we have already assume the progress and the innovations. Cars, it was an amazing uh, innovation in that time. The radio, it was a revolution for the police work also. And even in the social uh, field, the gender equality was also a revolution for us. 
What's different now? The thing is that now we have a really complex reality, not like in the past. We have a lot of deep changes. And they are happening very fast. That's the difference. That's the point. It means that we have to be involved from the very beginning if we don't want to be late. Remember this. <laughs> but, okay, maybe it's right, but how can we innovate? We have three different pillars of knowledge in the field of security. We have in the center people needs, what people need, what, what people need in order to be safe. We have to collaborate with other law enforcement agencies for sharing knowledge, like we are doing here. But we have also to collaborate with, with academia, universities, research and technology institutes, and companies. They will provide the knowledge we need as the basis for our work. And companies will provide the tools that we need. So we have here knowledge, methodologies, the, the core of the, of the knowledge we need to build uh, a, a strategy and a performance, and also the tools and methodologies. But we have to collaborate. It's basically networking and collaborative work. In Europe, uh, the European Commission has created a uh, research framework, big program, uh, and one branch of it is, one little branch is security societies. 1.7 billion euros are devoted for research and development projects on security. Our role, the role of police forces within these uh, programs is to describe the needs we have on the floor, analysis of requirements, description of use cases, to test the methodologies and the tools that are being developed, and to evaluate and assess the pilot experiences within these methodologies and tools. As an example, I'm, I would like to, to talk about this call from the European Commission within Horizon 2020, funded with 2 million euros, and the topic was better understanding the role of new social media networks in the use for public security purposes. Well, the challenge is what you already know, how the social media has changed our society and how we can use how or how it affects to security planners perform. The scope is the new social media uh, networks and public security, focus on privacy and data protection, and the research in a number of topics. To what extent it influence in the planning of security? Is it a threat or a tool? Maybe both, but we should analyze it before we start working on that. Prediction of future trends or identifying possible threats from this new reality. And new forms of policing from this reality how it affects to mass gathering, riots, how they are used, and ethical and legal implications. The impact that we expect, or the European Commission expect from this research project is a better prediction and identification of possible future threats, and challenges, opportunities, and risks for uh, police, of using social media. As you can see, the expected impact is focused on research entities. But uh, 
this research has to target the needs and requirements of the users, the end users, which is the police force. In this framework, we have Media Force, which is the project which won this call. So, the strategy of the European Commission is being uh, deployed through Media Force, which is the project selected for doing it. This project is running from uh, it's running until the end of 2018, and led by the University of Warwick in UK. This is the consortium. You can see we have um, the main uh, uh, research institutes in Netherlands and in Germany. We have uh, the European Forum for Safety, the European Organization for Security, police forces from Spain, Northern Ireland, the Center for Security Studies of the Ministry of Interior in Greece, and universities from UK. And so, interdisciplinary team, which work together in order to reach the objectives of the call. And the project itself wants to reach or want to analyze the media forcing from three different approaches, which is the good of social media, problem solving, fighting crime, decreasing fear of crime, increasing the quality of life, but there are also flip sides, like the bad, which is legalized criminality and terrorism, which is using social media also. The ugly of rise three areas, like trolling, bullying, threats, video sharing of tactical security operations. Main topics that we are working on within the project it's a review of the state of art uh, within this topic, best practices around the world on the use of social media, create a framework of analysis. It's, it's very important to work on a research framework. We cannot start working without analyzing firstly the reality and understand all the implications within the, this reality. Uh, which are opportunities for impact and emergency challenges. Again, social, social, ethical, and legal issues. The European Commission is very afraid of that, and it's always considered in you know, all kind of projects. Future technologies and solutions, of course. Standards of use, dissemination of the results of the project, and thematic workshops. There are six different workshops your workshops on the use of the police use of social media, about six different <coughs> times. They, long, they are one day long, uh, gather different stakeholders from all fields, university, companies, police, and they gather best practices and way of policy. As a result of each uh, workshop, we have a report where the analysis best practices, uh, SWOT analysis, and recommendations are gathered. The first one uh, took place in Berlin uh, last January, and it was focused on do-it-yourself policy. How citizens are assisting police work how they are providing us information, how they are doing police work also. And we discuss the opportunities and challenges and its relevance for our work. There was some speeches there, some collaborative workshops, uh, there was uh, interventions from police, entities were represented there. <coughs> and we created the first report of the project on this topic, which is available in the website. In the line that uh, I told, told you uh, before, someone told us, product was destroyed by Instagram. 
If the police want to survive do it yourself policy, they need to transform instead of asking the public to change. It depends on the, of the country. In, in Europe, we have many different countries, many different cultures. It's not the same uh, UK or Nord Nordic countries than Mediterranean countries. The, the way in which people approach police or collaborate with police or trust the police is really different. So we have to bear in mind this, this different culture approach because it's, it's essential for us in order to plan a successful strategy in the use of social media. We cannot, we, we, we cannot create a common strategy for Europe. It's not feasible. You have to adapt it to the culture of your country. The second workshop is focused on mass gatherings. How can we use social media for reacting or for preventing uh, uh, riots, demonstrations? How can we uh, manage uh, crowd events or crowd protection before, during, and after the event? In Netherlands, next December, uh, TNO will host. Uh, the dark web workshop, and uh, we will try to find how to use dark web for um, tackling uh, organized crime and terrorism. European Forum for Urban Safety will host in Barcelona next November the workshop Everyday Security, new sources, new platforms for communication and engagement with with people. I will tell you uh, later on about Instec, which is other project related to this. Trolling workshop, London, May 2019. All kinds of online abuse that are happening nowadays. How, how we can monitor and how we can better respond to this, to this problem. And finally, the European Organization for Security will host the uh, workshop of new tools and technologies on, on social media for the police. You can be in touch with the, pro with the project following these channels. And finally, I, I want to talk a little bit about other calls from the European Commission focus on community policy, the use of new technologies applied to uh, community policy. Not, not only social media, but mainly social media. Well, uh, the scope is uh, to facilitate, strengthen, and accelerate the communication between police and the community. And it's difficult to engage people in some countries, but we have to really engage people in this research in order to find interesting results for the project. The impact the Commission is expecting are existing tools, error identification, time intervention, crime reporting, to decrease the rate, the, the rate of unreported crimes through the use of these technologies, to decrease the feeling of insecurity among the society through an accelerated communication platform or solution. We are using International Crimes Victim Survey uh, quite often to measure the security feeling of uh, our community. And any initiative we, we deploy uh, affects to, to the rates of of victimization of people. So I think it's, it's very important because they are our clients. <coughs> well, of course, uh, the action has to target the needs and the requirements of users, of course, of police forces. The project that won this call was INSPECT. Um, this project is running nowadays. Valencia Local Police is also participating in, in it. The name is Inspiring Citizens Participation for Enhanced Community Policy Action. Three years project. 
we, have, we want to carry out a trust building process with community. Because new technologies are kind of cold. Uh, you, have, you, you lose some proximity you have with the community. But you have an open field to build a new trusting. The aim is to develop a sustainable a framework for community publishing online. Uh, this is the partnership uh, that is working in the project. National police forces, local police forces, consultancy uh, companies, uh, serious game uh, companies, universities, all these universities, research institutes, Center for Security Studies, Criminology Institute from eight countries in Europe. Um, the solution, the platform that we are creating uh, will reach technological readiness level six and will be uh, assessed in six different locations. In five different locations, five different countries, very different, different cultures, different community policing approaches. So the objective is to validate the tool in different scenarios. This is the main architecture, the main concept of the project, of the solution, of the technical solution. Quite boring. Uh, and some notes about the technology that uh, is being used for uh, the, the correlation of incidents, uh, predictive algorithms, uh, crime maps, uh, reportings, etc. Et yes, technology. Mobile applications, portals, etc. If you want to have more information about the project, there are a website. And social media accounts available for it. Finally, I want just, just to mention another project uh, which is focused on uh, emergency management. The whole process of the emergency management uh, from the police perspective. This project has a work package specially devoted for the use of social media in this case. And I think it's a very important field also uh, in the use of <laughs> to get bored with, uh, with more details. This is my email. You can contact with me anytime if you have any question now or in the future. I'm available for you. Thank you very much.